And welcome back to another Play to Order. And we're on the PS2 again. Uh, thanks to Uriah in Indiana for picking up this uh, timeless classic series um, that I think is very controversial as far as either you like it or you don't. I've never met anybody who said it was uh, just a fine, okay, game, but... Um, Maybe that's me, because I've never really played one. And that is the Echo the Dolphin series, uh, most famously on the Sega systems. Um, and this was after Sega went out of the hardware game and started making games for other platforms. Which is weird, usually in this era they were doing a lot of um, Xbox games, a lot of their Sega stuff. Uh, I guess Echo doesn't really line up with uh, the Xbox mentality, I guess. It's always been more of kind of an artsy, uh, kind of visual thing. Uh, and he here the title is Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future, which always blew my mind. Um, when the second one came out, where it was, what was it? Something in time? Echoes in time? For the Sega CD? So it was, it, it really blew my mind that this dolphin, which I saw from a, a distance, the first game, all of a sudden was a time traveler. I'm pretty excited to see what the story is for Echo the Dolphin. Just jumping on in blind like four games into the series. Um, I'm sure I'll pick it right up and play. For 500 years, dolphins and humans have lived together. Oh man, is this Planet of the Apes just with dolphins? Harmony and fellowship. <laughs> Together, they set out to explore the great unknown. Peace and friendship were offered to all who would welcome it. There were forces for whom aggression was the highest calling. This is unreal. Creatures known only as the foe regarded the earth with envious eyes. In my wildest dreams, I would have never guessed what. For oh humans, my gosh, this is not what I thought this was. Hated enemy. From time beyond memory, the foe had gone undefeated. They devoured, dominated, and annihilated all in their path. But humans and dolphins brought their age of conquest to an end. Driven to the brink of defeat, the foe plotted vengeance on Earth. But the few caretaker dolphins who remained behind were not defenseless. Protected by their greatest creation, the Guardian shielded them with its immense power. Wow. This is great. Undeterred, the foe persisted, seeking a moment of weakness. In this time of crisis, lived a young dolphin named Echo. He was destined to become the only hope for humans and dolphins. This just seems to me like a young boy 
got his down. sister's hand-me-down Lisa Frank uh, Trapper Keepers that were full of dolphins and stuff. And um, he had to make a reason, a play at everybody to see if, uh, to make it seem like this, that was pretty cool. And uh, he did a pretty damn good job of it, actually. Uh, I have a new respect for dolphins all of a sudden. You can tell he's wise because he's got the yellow stripe. Dolphins have to earn their stripes. Don't you dare point that bottle nose at me. Echo, of course I know how to talk. There's one thing about being, there's one thing to say about being wise, and then there's another one of your elders just talking down to you like you're an idiot. I do like, uh, kind of <laughs> sea games, I don't know what to call them. There's, there's very few of them um, where you just kind of explore the ocean. And I gotta say, Echo was one of the first ones, I mean it started in 2D, uh, back when that really didn't seem like a, a viable thing. And from, from my point of view. I didn't really look. Uh, I didn't really look at Echo and say that's maybe something I want to play. I did want to try it. Charging. I don't think you explained how to charge though. Yeah, when I was younger, I was definitely a Sega kid. Um, had the Genesis. That was my main thing. And seeing Echo on the back of that Sega Genesis box uh, really, really kind of piqued my interest. I didn't, wouldn't say I was really um, interested, like I had to have that. Because, I mean, like I said, it, it looked like a girl's game. Um, and, but I wanted to try it just to see what it was about. Uh, and my friend had it. And whenever I was over there, I'd be like, hey, let's try that. And he'd be like, no, we're not doing that. We're not playing that. So, he must not have really liked that game at all. Um, even when I asked, hey, can I borrow it? No, you don't want to borrow that. He wouldn't let me borrow it just because, like, he was a good friend and wanted me to save me from it. I guess that's what he thought. That's kind of fun. Um, and then, I guess, whenever I went to a place to go rent games, I saw this, but then I also saw a bunch of other cooler games that... I decided to rent those instead. So I've never really had any uh, experience with Echo. I think I'm hitting the edge of the world. This is my first time. And so far it's not bad. I mean, 
I really don't know what the game is yet, other than dolphins are flying in space and protecting our planet. This was developed in Japan, right? This is a Sega of Japan thing. Uh, well, you know, maybe it is an American thing, too. I could see them being... I, I, I thought I've seen something before where Echo was a very uh, environmentalistic game. You were... Uh, very much for the Earth, kind of a Captain Planet. Almost a game with a message trying to impose on Kit. Like, uh, watch out for the foes that are in space. If you ever need help, your friendly neighborhood dolphin. Um, and don't eat tuna. So am I supposed to find the whale? Or... Let's see, that was right over here. Pushing out though, I can't can't get through there. Where was that whale? I would assume since dolphins are very pro uh, pro Earth and help the humans out, uh, I would imagine all these other fish do too. And the whale, there you are. Guess we're not getting into Atlantis. The foe has struck again. Well, that was a pretty bad place to be, whale. Do I need air? It would be nice if they explained what those uh, what those bars are at the top, because I imagine the bottom one is air. Okay, so it's probably like a lot of games where you lose all your air and then you lose uh, your health. So imagine that whale, the baby whale, is over here somewhere, right? I'm, that's probably the door to Atlantis, so... There has to be... There has to be another way. air. That's kind of cool. These games definitely are atmospheric. I'll give them that. But kind of the... <laughs> the tension that they're putting on you is a little weird. Like, nice relaxing and all this music and everything. Oh, and then there's a baby whale that's dying.
Never mind that this giant whale can't go over there and try and move some rocks. It's all up to Echo. This this uh, really dumb dolphin that just learned how to talk and swim less than like five minutes ago. What is that supposed to mean? Am I supposed to check if that watermelon's ripe or what? I thought I saw an opening down here. I can see why the Elder was worried about me. I mean... Look at this. I'm really not sure what that is supposed to mean. Do a barrel roll. Oh, okay. There you are. So do I have some superpower where I'm supposed to be able to move that rock? I mean, we are fighting aliens. not working. There. Ate a fish, that helped. Whoa. Watch this thing disappear. And it's gone. Echo, you are not defending the future here, especially of these fish. I mean, you're basically taking their future away. Thanks for the tip. I'll just have to find my buddies. knew dolphins could be this in sync with each other. Almost, except the other two are, you know, chopping up the frame rate.
you know how much physical pressure you would have to put on that bottle nose to move that? Are free to join your mommy. Oh, stuck down there that whole time. Just had to get that out of me. Well, I saved your kid. Is there like currency down here? Oh, now we're not we're not on speaking terms. I see how it is. These cutscenes uh, are not that helpful. Uh, well, at least the ones that are trying to show you kind of what to do. But it looks like maybe this one is just, he's just going to bust open. Do not tell me that. You can't move a stupid rock to get your kid out. But you can go over there and just uh, shove your nose in that. Come on. That's a little bit unbelievable. Whales are supposed to be mammals. And uh, what happened to the mother-daughter? Mother-son? Mother-cub, I should say. Effect on... Uh, I guess it doesn't happen. Maybe that was his timeout or something. Now this game was put out by... Of course it's Sega branded, but it wasn't actually developed by them co-developed, however that goes. I, I'm guessing the split wasn't very much on that. Um, but Appaloosa, and I'm not sure what else they do, but it's published by Acclaim, too. Which is really, really strange. I mean, Sega is their own publisher. Why in the world was Acclaim involved in this? Uh, that just puts a bad name on it. Already. The Art of Fighting Sharks. I suppose they make pretty good enemies in a game like this. That wasn't quite as graceful. <laughs> If you saw something like that at SeaWorld, you better believe that the animal rights activists would be on your doorstep. Watch where you're going, man. Oh. Why did it tell me I gotta go learn how to fight sharks and then it's like, oh, here's the way to the sharks without teaching you how to do it. Your baby turtles? I think you're going senile, old man. I think I lost him.
Yeah, I'm not sure where he went. Oh. You know, I'm trying to save this Earth's future from all these aliens. I need to protect these humans. And these sharks go up here and just be... You're just a jerk. Just being a jerk. I don't think they respect the gravity of the situation. Ooh, that was better. I'm guessing this is the part where, if you played all the games before, you kind of know what's up. Um, besides that opening story. Uh, which, you know, I really hope, actually, that that has nothing to do with all the other ones. It just cold opens with uh, planets flying by talking about those guys. Where all the other ones were just about you being a dolphin. Uh, I don't think that was the case. But... Boy, it sure got off the wall from what I've heard the first one is all about. And, yeah, these crystals probably are something that are in the other games. But I think that just about, just might do it for, oh, don't want to hit the jellyfishes either. That just might do it for uh, Echo the Dolphin. Defender of the Future. Um, I just wanted to pay tribute for such a brave dolphin. And yeah, it seems to play alright. Um, I do like swimming games, like I said. And Echo is not too bad, actually. Um, I have not played the Dreamcast version. I would imagine it's probably something along these lines. But, like I said, I haven't played any Echo. This is the first one, and probably the worst one. I don't think they've made another one since, and... Kind of having the pedigree of what this game is, where Sega kind of is washing its hands of it. it seems to imply that... Um, I must have hit a uh, jellyfish. Seems to imply that Echo is not a real big franchise to them. Even if you can do backflips. Um, wicked tricks Echo does. All while saving your future. But, anyway. Thank you for joining us on Play to Order. If you uh, want to see a game that you want played on this show, the best way to do that is rent or purchase it from our website, videogameexperiment.com. That is where Uriah did uh, purchase this game, and it's going to him so he can spend his summer swimming around, defending futures, going through time, and ultimately defeating that uh, lazily named foe. So, thanks for joining us. Bye.